is Janet here from the Stover Library for Craft Time with you. So I have a craft idea for you to do today or tomorrow or another day, but it's just an idea. We are going to make a beautiful butterfly. So what you need to make your butterfly is you need two coffee filters and some markers. That's what you need to start. So you're going to get your colors, get your uh, coffee filter, and I want you to color on that coffee filter. Make it as colorful and beautiful as you choose. As much color or as little color, you just create on that coffee filter and do it on two because what you're gonna do is use those two coffee filters to put together a butterfly. So color on your coffee filters and then Ask your mom or your dad or a sibling to help you and hopefully you have a spritzer and you're going to spritz water all over the colored coffee filters. So do it somewhere, maybe on some newspaper, put newspaper on it, under it because when you um, make that coffee filter wet, the colors are going to go through. So do that on a newspaper and then let those coffee filters dry and once they're dry, this one hasn't been colored on, but you're just going to scrunch it up in the middle. So scrunch, 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 scrunch. So you've done it so that it's in half. And then you're going to use your um, clothes pin. And you're going to clip your coffee filter on there. And you're going to put the other one right on top of it. And that's what I've done. So I've already done mine. I've got my two coffee filters and I've scrunched them onto my clothes peg. And I even colored my clothes peg with a marker just to give it some color. I added some googly eyes and I added a pipe cleaner for his antenna. So if you have a pipe cleaner, doesn't matter what color, then you can give your butterfly some antenna. And there you have it. So you see all the beautiful colors that you colored and they've just all muted with the water. And it's given him a beautiful color. If you have some um, magnet, a strip of magnets at your house, you could maybe cut a piece and put it on the back of your butterfly so that you could attach him to your refrigerator. And then you could have your beautiful craft right there in the kitchen. The other idea, which we did another day, was to make a butterfly out of a toilet paper roll. So you cut your toilet paper roll into four parts, and then I painted it, and then I glued it together, and I added a pipe cleaner for his body and his antenna. And there is another way to make a beautiful butterfly. So however you do it today, I hope you make a butterfly craft, or maybe you'll do it tomorrow. And if you have man a magnet strip, you can put it on your fridge and make a beautiful creation. So I hope you have fun making a butterfly today or sometime soon. So long and I'll see you soon with another craft idea. Bye for now.